Well, welcome back for my more important analysis videos on Thursday, 6th of September with me, which is Market Analyst at Handset Markets. Let's have a look at Dolly N, which is still tracking high within this uptrend. It did test the uptrend as the market fell over yesterday. Um, it's interesting that you still cannot really see that the dollar balls are gaining any real traction. Had that move last week, the breakout above 1140 retraced pretty instantly, yeah, pretty much um, straight away. Today, um, again, in the last sort of few sessions, we've seen this run higher, moving back above 11.40, but failing below 11.80. 11.75, yesterday's high, 11.80, last week's high. Failing at that level, closing only marginally higher on the, on the day, and then moving back to the downside today, you're 20 pips lower. You're testing this uptrend as well. Um, and again, you look at the, hour, the uh, daily momentum indicators, Last week's high, six, uh, 58 on the RSI. Sort of moving between 40 and 60 on the RSI, failing to get any real traction. Yes, you've got a slight positive bias. You're still within this uptrend. You've still got the MACD lines, which are tick, sort of marginally edging higher. Stochastics are still fairly positively configured. But even though you've got this positive, marginal positive bias, you're not really seeing the traction in the move seeing the market continually failing sort of around that 12 big figure area uh, in recent uh, in recent weeks so um, unless you can see the market sort of starting to put together a couple of strong bull candles I'm not really convinced that this is a market that's going to be breaking strongly higher um, and again as I said we've uh, sort of cor corrected back today still within this uptrend but um, you need to now hold on to 11.15 put the crosshair on 11.15 which I talked about yesterday as a bit of a pivot interestingly uh, this morning's low 11.16 so uh, there is a pivot area around that um, but uh, momentum indicators on the hourly chart showing a, a fairly ranging scenario and you sort of talk about this uh, market basically moving in a band don't you in the last sort of two weeks really uh, between 10.70 and 11.80 so yeah pretty tight trading um, very slight p positive bias but it's pretty tight pretty tight trading if I can say that anyway I wish you good luck in trading I'll speak to you later